Hello and good evening. I send you a warm welcome. It's so nice to have you here in this summer day before your vacation or in your vacation. I don't know where you are looking this or watching where you are watching this live video. I I am so excited because I have a wonderful guest today and it's Diane. Yes, you know Diane Black and she's been a graphic facilitator for 20 years and she's uh, she's amazing she was one and she was my mentor um after or in an online course i booked years ago and if she hadn't said go out and do this visual stuff teach flip charts and teach all this i won't be here and so i say hello 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 today to diane i'm so happy to have you here <laughs> hi Hello, Diane. <laughs> Hi! I'm so excited to be here today. This is going to be a lot of fun. Yes, I think so. So, and um, I watched your, your mixing and I said, I need this interview with Diane now. How can we do it? So I put on my pink shirt today to be a bit colorful on my side, but on your side of the ocean, <laughs> of the Atlantic. So you are going to mix. But first, I'd like to, to know something about you and we like all like to know more about you. And um, yes, who are you, Diane? <laughs> <laughs> who am I? Uh, so my name is Diane Bleck and I'm the founder of the Doodle Institute, which is a series of online courses designed to teach you the art of graphic recording and to basically unlock creativity at home, school and work. I've been an online instructor for graphic recording, graphic facilitation for seven years, and I've been a graphic facilitator for 20 years. And um, wow. I'm affectionately <laughs> known as the doodle girl because I love rainbows and unicorns and color and bringing color to all my projects. And I think it's funny that I decided to wear a white jacket when I'm going to mix colors live. And I thought, maybe that wasn't the best choice today, but maybe it'll be a splatter jacket. Maybe it'll be all splattered by the end of the yes. session. <laughs> I think these, these, these Neuland colors on a white jacket. So why not have a good idea for a new summer outfit? I think it's a good thing. So I think that's a neat idea. <laughs> I hope the jacket will, will survive, but um, yes. <laughs> everything is fine yeah uh, can you say um you, you said 20 years in in this in this field what was a trigger or a flashpoint for you to start in the field can you say yeah, perhaps? So <laughs> I, I started whoops i just hit my table i started oh. um i started with a company called ernst and young they were hiring mm -hmm. artists to come into their strategic planning environments their think tanks and they wanted us to fill the walls with all of their ideas. And so I started there with a lot of the people who have been around for 20 years, like Randy Agerbeck and others. And um, we were part of the team. And then over time, I started training others on what I was doing. So I was traveling to Europe and I was traveling to Australia and I was teaching their teams. And then um, what I really saw is that graphic facilitation and graphic recording is, is a skill. And that skill could be used at any industry, not just big businesses. So I started my own company with Peter Duran. We started Alpha Chimp Studio, and we built the largest network of graphic facilitator recorders in the U.S. in the 90s. Oh. And we, we booked people all over the world um, doing this. And then I decided to shift again and to focus on the Doodle Institute, which is how do you get visual thinking skills, which is what I think all of this is, it's visual thinking, visual learning skills into the hands of adults and kids around the world. And so that's my primary focus is how do I, how do I inspire the world to put pen to paper to unlock their creativity at home, school and work um, and to really get excited about visual learning and visual thinking, but also just getting into that space of creativity. We've kind of lost that with all of our technology. So the Doodle Institute is all about doodling and drawing and getting into that land of play. 
<laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, thank you. Do you have, um, what would you like um, to suggest people that are new to the field? Yeah, people who are new to the field, I would first of all, like do a Google search on graphic recording, graphic facilitation. First of all, understand what all's out there. Um, look for great resources. Neuland is a great resource for products, obviously, because they have amazing markers, which we're going to demo more of. There's the IFVP, which is a great community where you're going to find people who are doing this just like you. And then there's lots of people creating wonderful online courses. And I believe that we still need more online courses for people to be able to specialize and to get experience where they, where they are. So the Doodle Institute is a great intro foundation for getting your toes wet in, first of all, how do you draw, right? Like, let's just start with the basics. And I have this wonderful 21 Doodle Days course. And then I take you through building your visual vocabulary. And then we get really fun and we play with electronic doodles and we play with iPads. And then how can you make an infographic or a video? And so I kind of, it's kind of this slow introduction into all of these different concepts so that by the end of the Doodle Your Dreams program, you're armed with enough tools and resources to be dangerous, which is good. I mean, you can go out there and start trying to get your first few gigs. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Last questions before we go into colors. Yes. What inspires you? What inspires me? So yes. what inspires me is, is my children. Um, <laughs> the whole reason I draw is with my children. I really started with my oldest, Lillian, who was my co-host at the Doodle Summit a few weeks ago. And yeah. she sat in my lap and I drew for her over and over. And And she just watched to begin with. And then she started drawing on her own. And then she developed her own style. But drawing oh. with my children and, and my youngest did Jack, um, that's where my Instagram is right now. My Instagram is basically a snapshot of what it's like for me to sit and draw with my children. And what I love about Instagram is all these people are following it. And they're drawing in all of their classrooms. And then they're sending me pictures of entire classrooms that are drawing my ballerina or drawing a princess or a kitty cat or the unicorn. The unicorn's been seen by almost Unicorns. five million people. <laughs> okay. Yes, thank you for that. So if we have any links to share, we will share it um, in the blog post. So I will put this video also on YouTube. So for everybody who is Uh, of your other <laughs> of your audience who is not on Facebook, you can see this video also on YouTube, and we will have a, a blog post in the next days where we share all the links to the Doodle Institute, the 21 uh, days, and all the links you like to share. And yes, so now I think I will let you change the camera. I put the camera on me and I start talking. I, I will flap dancing until you're <laughs> ready. So, yes. Um, I will have a look in the chat. Oh, there are some people. This guy's. <laughs> Torsten. Ayoka, you are there. Wonderful. Hi, Diane. Hi, Sandra. Yes. Oh. And. Great. <gasps> you're ready. Wonderful. So let's see the colors. Wow, this was the photo that made me crazy. <laughs> yes. So um, I love color and Heather Martinez, I, I secretly sent this to her first and I said, look what I just made. And she said, oh my gosh, Diane, you are such a colorist. You love color. And so what I did is I played with um, different Neuland colors at the top. So I drew a little Neuland bottle and then I drew which number color it was. And then I mixed them to see what colors I could create as I color mixed the different inks so that I could create more of different custom greens that I wanted or purples. Yeah. And then I started to play with this some and I started to see how could I, how could I lighten some of the colors? So this is using mm -hmm. a little bit of water. Yeah. And then this is another one where I just played with a single color and I kept saturating it to water because I'm doing a lot of painting of this. So here, let me pull this up so you can really see yeah. the colors. 
So that's like my mm -hmm. little formula. It's three parts color plus ten parts water. Uh, and one part is is a ball or is it a um, um, a drop? It's it's just the ratio. So it could either be a ball or it could mm -hmm. be a drop. It's it's whatever equal ratio. And then oh, here's okay. here's what I started playing with skin tones. Looks like a makeup palette. I know. It looks like <laughs> it looks like a makeup palette. So yes, what I did I love it. what I did with this one is this is the mother color. So the mother color is brown. And then okay. I started to see when I mix brown and pink, I get this color. When I mix brown and red, I get this one, brown ah, and yellow, okay. brown and blue, brown and the flesh tone. And then this is then adding adding different layers of water. Yeah. Again, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm actually doing a lot of painting with the Neuland inks. Like I'm, yeah. I'm really having a lot of fun with them. But skin tones are... Are like good. yes, so much fun to play with. So, yeah, I mean, who knew that mixing all these you could get all these? So now, so it's we're gonna great for a graphic facilitator today to mix your own skin tone, <laughs> matching with your <laughs> outfit. Great, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's me. <laughs> so I'm gonna do a little. Let me set up my camera right here. So I'm gonna. I'm going to show you how I play with my colors, which is, this is the dangerous part for my white jacket. <laughs> yes. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> so what I, what I do is I have this little tray. It's a little tray that I found in a market that's for uh, like little baby appetizers or sauces. And so I kind of, I kind of find fun things like that wherever I go. Yeah, and so then in, in the, the tray. Market, in the art, artist markets for watercolor. Perhaps. Yes, exactly. Yes. So then in my tray, I'm going to mix three, three drops of the yellow. And okay. then I'm going to mix, this is my little cheat sheet. And then I'm going to mix three drops of the green. So I'm going to do equal ratio. And then I'll blend oh, those together. And then I'll see what does that color look like? Great. Oh, and so this, is, this is fantastic and super skin tones note i recommend working with drops first to save ink yes good exactly. idea exactly exactly that's that's why that's why i play with all this and heather is exactly right you don't you don't want to mix up a big tube of color yeah only to realize i don't like it or i don't like mm -hmm. the the, the ratio so i'm going to do three drops of orange and we're going to mix three drops of green again and yes, if you've got questions, keep posting them. I'm just, I think the fun thing is, is to first of all, just show you like, have, have fun with your inks. Oh, this is, this, oh, this is wonderful. And, 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 and see what, see what happens. Right. And again, I'm just doing equal portions of each color. Yeah. Then you can do a, like, this is my little meditation right now. I love making color charts because it's just very, it feels very Zen, you know, I just, yeah. <laughs> and, and I'm the type of person that I want to, um, I want to complete the whole chart. So I want to sit here for like the whole day and play with color. Yeah. So then let's see what this one does. Oh. So this one, you get a little bit of a more red brown it's, it's, an, it's, it's a, an autumn color so yes. i think i'm thinking of autumn so the green is and there and this um brown and this is an autumn flip chart in the end so <laughs> yeah so it's the autumn it's palette <laughs> so then we're going to take three drops of yellow and then we're going to mix it with our blue this time is it blue or is it this um oh, no it's not ocean it's um this is this is the um this is the 301. 301. ah 301 yes so it's 301 mixed with 501 oh okay and and my hands are <laughs> <laughs> my hands are very telling of of what this is like to mix yeah, your hands telling us that you're doing a great job. <laughs> exactly. Oh, but but maybe maybe so you have a 
maybe you have a really favorite color that you want to be able to add to your Neuland colors, right? And yeah. they come with so many wonderful, great colors. Yes. So I, I see these these art markers there. This is these are great. But if you have sometimes some um, yes, you are, you perhaps you have um, some ink and you say, oh, why not try this out? Right. I and mean, just play with it. You need you play with it. So perhaps you need um, a color that's more bold or more or maybe clear. it matches maybe it matches your client's brand. Yeah. Wow, green. This is a wonderful green isn't that so neat now you have six six inks there uh-huh yes mm -hmm. yeah i tried not to put too many and no. I don't have to. I don't have to do them all. If you want me to stop after this one. Ooh, look wow. at this one! Wow! Oh! <laughs> oh, I don't know if you can really see how plum it is. Is it plum? It is, plum? Yes. It is. It's really the end of the summer. <laughs> it's really this dark. Is. But I think. Um, it's it's dark, but I, I can see this plum. Perhaps it's in the camera. It's not that clear, but I I can I can imagine that. Yes. Oh yes, yes. It's a really it's good to see. A really pretty plum. Yeah. Okay, I have. I thought a second. Hang on, let me grab my second tray. So we will share the colors. On, on the blog post so that you can try it out at home. <laughs> I can see Ayoka writes, um, Neuland will fill ink bottles on my wish list. Now even more than before. This is what we wanted with this session. Oh, sorry. Ow. <laughs> I, I don't have my clean tray beside me. So oh, I'm gonna okay. have to, I'm gonna have to cheat this one or here, we'll do one more. Oh, okay. And then, um, yes, Ioka, I, I've been buying 10 blank refills and markers at a time right now so that I can just yeah. kind of slowly add different colors to my, to my marker palette. Oh, this is also a great green. So in general, I'm I'm the, I'm the pink lady, but uh, <laughs> this green is great. All these greens, yes, I like it. I like them. I know, isn't that so neat? Yes, it's because of this this wonderful uh, yellow and it's this warm yellow. Yeah. So what you can get from Neuland is they send you. <coughs> They send you an empty bottle, which some of you guys have already seen. So here's an empty bottle. And then you mix your different portions of your mm -hmm. ink into that to mix a unique color. And then like here's here's a green that I mixed that's five of 401 and five of 301 mixed together. And then I made it into and color. this is this is very important to write it on the bottle um i'm i'm yes. a bit chaotic i i would mix them so i mixed uh, some colors and then i wrote some nice names on these bottles so halloween orange and fantastic green on all that stuff but that it's not useful if somebody asks um what did you do wonderful right. color <laughs> <laughs> right. How did you so get that? Write it colored? down. Write it down. This seems yeah. to be normal, but I know a person who doesn't, who didn't. Um, okay. There's a question in the chat. And then you can refill it using their little stands. So you oh, can yes. fill your own, you can fill your own colors. 
So now it's um it's the the small one from from paper in paper. Oh. So here's like a yellow I made where it's just a little bit more golden. Mhm. Mm and then here's like a green that I've mixed that's that is nice. Yes. This is the spring collection. Yes. So you can you can really have a lot of fun with them. Oh, that's a question. Um, yes. So, have you tried why you add gray um, to the color mixtures? So, I have not done that one yet, but it will probably be coming soon. Um, so far, the ones that I've mixed are the ones that I um, shared so far. So, we'll go back and, and look at those one more time so you can kind of see and again my hope is to keep making a few of these so these are these are taking a mother color so you could do that mm -hmm. with the gray right so you could use a mother color gray and oh, then okay. add it add it to your different colors mm -hmm. and then paint it out this one is adding water again because i'm starting to paint with some of these on watercolor for fun and then these are this is the exact same colors as those, but they've had a tiny bit of water added to them. Now, if you think you're going to mix a color, I'll let you know. If you think you're going to mix a color like this and you're going to add a lot of water to that ink, it's not going to work. Um, the, the, the inks really have to stay mixed true ink to work as a marker. You can't mm -hmm. just add a lot of water to your color to get like a pastel blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. It just like so, but, yes. For this reason, you can use so these like look. Grays. I I made like this. Whoops. Hang on. This isn't it. Let me see if I can find it. I think it's this one. Nope. I think I pulled it out because what happened was only the water came down to the bottom. So I tried to mix a really pretty purple, mm -hmm. and I added a lot of water to it, but the water. The water is only what's coming out of the marker. Oh, so okay. it, it really needs to stay true ink mixing. But if you want to if you want to paint with it, which again is just something I do for fun, um, yeah. then you can paint with it if it's a paler color. Oh, okay. So but in the marker, yes, uh, this doesn't work. Mm -hmm. But perhaps this works um, with the, um, how is it called, 102, this uh, white, nearly white gray yeah i don't know i mean there's so, a whole world there's a whole world to be explored with this yes <laughs> do you want me to do you want me to keep the camera facing down on this stuff or do you want me to transition so you can let the camera on this so i have um i will have a look at the into the questions so um then so we could create a huge color circle poster of Neuralink. yes we can do and Torsten, oh great, the fat one question. Do they ever get leak proof? Oh, um, they get leak proof. <laughs> um, what does it mean? <laughs> the markers get leak proof? The, the, the fat ones. So the fat ones, yes, this is, this is um, a different question, I think. So, um, you have to be cautious in using them, <laughs> would be my answer. Um, Heather says, water mixed colors that... pastel, uh, gray create, created muted color. Ah, okay. Excellent for sage green or paints gray blue. Okay, paints gray is a is always, uh, I, I know from the watercolor palette, yes. Is there a color only mix that ends up being a light brown or ochre? Light brown is, I would say that you have done this. So if you, so like an uh, one ochre color here that you can continue to try and see if you can lighten it is that same thing that we did today, which is that 401 mixed with orange mm -hmm. and Again, this is all, this is a whole, like, wouldn't it be fun, right? <laughs> to make a whole color mixing cheat sheet book 
for people who love New Orleans markers. And it's, it's like creating all the formulas and all that. Like it's a, it's a whole body of work. So, yeah. um, I just started playing with these right before the doodle summit. So just a few weeks ago, I mean, Heather Martinez literally like got the first picture of it. Um, there's a, there's a whole lot you can play with because there are over 30 colors and I mean, hundreds of possibilities yeah. and then the ability to take them into um, shades and tents and to, and to keep going. Like it, it's a whole, it's a whole lot of fun that can be had. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So would you share the numbers of the, of the one you use to create skin colors? Asks Amy. Yeah. So the one that I made skin colors, I can, I can share a picture of this and I can tell you the exact colors yes, that, I used, great. that I used above here. And, and remember these, these have had water added to them. So okay. these, these are, these are the base colors and then mm -hmm. you can play from the base color to try and lighten it either with a light gray or, um, or another color. Like again, I I don't I don't have a full body of work to tell you the exact formulas. I can share with you what I've learned so far. Yeah. And then you keep playing with it. Like that's yes, why I want yes. to kind of show all this. Like like keep playing with it and see what colors you can mix up. But isn't this amazing? All of these colors that you can get Great. off of yeah. this mother color brown, which that brown is that brown is the eight hundred. So oh, okay. If you if you play with your eight hundred and start Great mixing, idea. <laughs> and I'll I'll write in what the numbers are underneath this and I'll share a picture of this. For Wonderful, you thank to, you. To play with. It's, it's great. So I um in general I'm not using the eight hundred not that often, but I have a <laughs> in the ink bottle. <laughs> so it's great to use it for mixing and um so and um if there is water in these colors so you uh, you have can you can you please show again this uh, this sh uh, sheet so you have yeah. um these three um three drops there one there two there um so that means uh, one is uh, the one first is color the second is color and the third is is water ah okay so right. if you mix them with water you have to use them with um, um with a brush with a brush so, yes well with um, the vocabulary the brush so <laughs> so some of some of my so you know clients like they want they want you to play with different tools right like some like that's what i found is in this work you, there's there's the graphic facilitation, graphic recording, where you're harvesting ideas, where you're capturing ideas. Yeah. But then there's the wonderful ability to add on specialty deliverables to your client. Yeah. So some of your deliverables might be on an iPad. Some of your mm -hmm. deliverables might be um, an infographic, or it might be recreated. I'm yeah. doing deliverables that are watercolors. Yeah. So I'm taking. I'm taking a, a business concept or a business metaphor or idea, and then I'm drawing it on watercolor paper and photographing it so that it has all these little uh, nuances and touches to it. And then I have the ability to play with a lot more skin tones. And again, I don't want a alcohol-based marker to no. be working with. So that's why I experimented with this. So. Yes. I think anytime mm -hmm. you're in a creative field, you're going to push your, you're going to push your tools and play with them and, and go and have fun with them. Cause then it breaks through. If, if I hadn't done that, I wouldn't have come up with these new ideas. Do you yes. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it's very important. So just one question. If you, if you fill these, um, these fresh, <laughs> I call it fresh color with, with, um, two inks and one um, part of water if you put it into a marker and use it now it wouldn't work so it, it will work it will work for a little period of time period. In, in in my experience and again okay like yeah i i can't tell you to go mix all these great skin no. tones and then you like <laughs> find out that they're only water after a week yes. but um 
but there's a way there's a way to keep um to keep experimenting with it and again yeah. this isn't it's not like i'm like and now i've got the book with the whole formula you know like no I don't. no 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 <laughs> don't like it's a lot of work <laughs> no 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 the, the question is so if you if you mix these colors you you find these special color or you you know you need um some more skin tones and you're invited to have a graphic recording or uh, a workshop for a client so if you mix them in the morning <laughs> between the breakfast and um and then you start the workshop and I asked myself if that would work, perhaps, until yeah. two or three hours. And then in the end of the day, you say, this was special for you. And if you like to to get these colors, you, you can mix them, but you need to put them on with brushes. So this is, this is an idea. This is an idea to try it out, to fill them into a, a, an art marker. And try this out one one day <laughs> yeah i think i think it's just something to play with and to continue to experiment with your with your tools you know yeah. and, and and see what you can do but for sure for sure this is just the tip of the iceberg of colors that you can start to create Great, yeah. um on your own and and i mean you could do a whole one where you're just playing with all the blues or all mm -hmm. of the greens and then just seeing where they mix um and again like i i could create a lifetime of color mixing and i would love it yeah <laughs> wonderful thank you for that i i will have a look into the chat we are going to share all the links and um, the ideas. So Diane, if you if you send me these um, pictures with with colors, well. so we can put it into the blog, and you can start mixing and drawing, and yes, perhaps mix with uh, with what you have and colors. So there are people that are drawing with um, schnapps. <laughs> or with espresso or orange juice i don't i i think you need all these <laughs> all these to try out uh, with the markers and if ah okay there's another question and um, a very important question thank you anvent is there a color you don't recommend to mix because it always delivers a result you don't like I have not I have not come across that yet I I think what's really wonderful about Neuland's inks is that they seem to be very true colors and that when you mix them you will get another color I have not found one yet and and what I've been playing with and I mostly I've been playing with what I call kind of like my little rainbow spectrum of favorite colors so I'm sure um, I'm sure there's still a lot to learn on it, but right now I just think they have such great integrity of their inks that they mix really beautifully. Okay, thank you. Good. Now we say thank you. Thank you for being here with us, for sharing this wonderful color thing. And I think the jacket is, is all right. I so think so. It's, it's really disciplined. <laughs> so and it's it's great. So um you can use it also in white jackets and white dresses. No problem. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, and, and what's next? So um <clears throat> what's what could be next? Next is holiday vacation. And so have a nice summer vacation. We see you soon. We're planning what to have in after this summer vacation. Next thing is UVIS. I think there will be some small live sessions in between and some nice uh, live sessions from the conference. So stay tuned. So have a look and on our uh, Facebook page. And if you like, you can mark that you want 